Okay, we're here in Bromont, 2009 Mountain Bike World Cup, round six of the men's cross country, talking with Ralph Knapp, who just finished third, correct? Exactly. Exactly. So, Ralph, uh, uh, horrible conditions. What, what was it like out there? Well, it was really hard. Uh, uh, you know, every lap you had to choose another line in the downhill, and uh, from the third lap I had no more brakes in the rear, or no more rear brake, and it was just uh, a battle between my, uh, me and my bike and my brakes to come down without the crash. And uh, yeah, it was so hard uh, that that you, that you know uh, you don't crash and you get hurt or you break anything on the bike. And uh, the last two days I felt a little bit ill because Rudy, my, Rudy van Hout, my teammate, he was ill the whole week. Right. I didn't slept so good and I didn't have so big mo motivation for this race but when it started to rain I knew there is a big chance to go on the podium today and uh, so was was motivated from the, from the first lap to do it and I made it like always I, I started really fast to don't yeah. get in trouble and uh, you know that it, that's always the best when you're alone in front you can do your own line there is mm. no one in front to crash or who touch you and I think uh, for me that's always the way to do a good result. Okay. So um, when did you like you, you went out hard first, and then I guess uh, Julian and Jeff came up to you, and then when did you lose contact with them? Uh, with Julian in the uphill, and uh, with Jeff also. He he made a really good race, you know. Mm -hmm. He was always uh, making his back gap bigger and. I was thinking in the race, uh, if one guy should win the race, then it's Jeff Kabush because he was always working so hard, he's, uh, he's really a good good guy and to win at home it must be a really big thing for him and that's really cool. Congratulations mm -hmm. to him. Good. So, um, third, this should move you up from fifth overall? Maybe I can move to the fourth place, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, the uh, Wolfram Korshan finished, finish, but I should catch him and... Uh, uh, he, he didn't finish, he oh, dropped okay. out. Yeah, then, then I'm fourth now in the overall. Okay. It's a good place for the last two races yes. in uh, Champery and Schladming and I hope I can jump to the podium this year together with Jose, that would be great. Okay, okay. So uh, now no more racing really until Worlds, so yeah. what's, what's your plan? Well, now I go with my family to the high altitude training again. Mm -hmm. I was already five weeks in June and uh, I really look forward to it to go again uh, with my son and my wife to there and train three weeks really good for the World Championships and this is my main goal. I, I want to win the World Championships this year because I, I won last year the race there, I know mm -hmm. how to do it and if I if I can win a race this year then I think it's on this track because I really like this track. Good. Well, good luck and congratulations. Okay, we're here in Bromont, conclusion of the 2009 World Cup men's cross country with Jose Permita, who has just finished second. Congratulations again. 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 Uh, it seems to be, uh, be like Pudor, maybe. Yeah. Well, it looks like I start to be like uh, my idol, Tomasz Frischnik. Always second, <laughs> second, second. <laughs> but it's uh, pretty happy, pretty happy after uh, a race like this in Bromont. Once again with the rain, with the muddy conditions. Yeah. And uh, for sure, for most of the riders, or for all the riders with the brake problems. So I'm pretty happy well, for my second place here today. So did you have brake problems? Yeah, I had uh, brake problems, but uh, I'm uh, in the other side of the, the other riders. The other riders, they had problems in the end of the race, and I had problems in the beginning of the race. So, so is that why? Because we noticed so, you, you, your first few laps, you were behind a bit, yeah. and then you started to move up. Yeah, exactly. I, I had many problems in the beginning, and then I, then I had to keep my positions. I crashed many times in the first three laps. And then suddenly I say, okay, I stop in the pit zone with my mechanic, I fix the, uh, I fix the brakes. So I knew that I will lose time on the pit zone uh, repairing the brakes, but for sure I will learn uh, time in the end. And then uh, that was like that. Uh, then suddenly in the last lap I had brakes and then, uh, well, I just keep uh, pushing uh, like in the beginning, hard, hard in the climbs. And then in the end of the race, uh, the other riders, they had no brakes, so I could pass them really easy in the downhills. For me, so, it was kind of a lot lottery uh, race today. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, besides the big brake problems, how, how bad were the conditions out there for racing? Well, today they have been really bad, especially in a course like this that is just climbing in the beginning. So, uh, to get so dirty in the bike, and then sometimes uh, we had to walk a little bit. And then, uh, especially in that course where the trails are not not totally uh, mm -hmm. permanent the whole year, so they are so soft. And when they are races like today with uh, 100 riders in the morning, uh, so uh, the course becomes really tricky and dangerous, mm -hmm. and, and the ground is uh, so soft that uh, it's quite 
quite impossible for us to bike sometimes. So that's why uh, we have many uh, brake problems and mm -hmm. crashes, flat tires, because you don't know what's uh, under the water, under the mud sections. You don't know if there is a stone, a uh, root, or just uh, there is only mud. So will this move you back into second in the overall? Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, probably uh, probably yes, because I had a small gap uh, with a very standard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And well, I have to fight. I have to keep uh, keep fighting uh, for the next week, uh, for sure for the World Championship. And then after the World Championship, we have two more World Cups, so nothing is decided. Especially uh, for the second and third position, nothing is decided for Julian. Seems uh, like it's uh, more or less uh, safe for him mm -hmm. for the moment, but uh, but uh, still two races. Everything can change. Good. Well, congratulations again, and uh, we'll see you in Canberra. Okay. Thanks for your umbrella.